Good afternoon on this uh, dull Friday afternoon in November. One good thing about it though, no snow. But November is the, uh, the darkest month of the year and uh, a little bit of snow might brighten things up. So this is just going to be a short update on some of the outstanding issues. We are going to have a, a meeting on, on the Saturday, November the 23rd, I do believe, to discuss Sawn Land Claims Update. There have been rumors and uh, people who have been posting uh, information that uh, is not really valid and uh, we, we hope to set the record straight. So, so far we're in phase one of a two-phase uh, court case. And the phase one involved the uh, Aboriginal title to the uh, lake bottoms. Now, we will be sharing the results of the, uh, of the findings by uh, Judge Matheson with the community. But what has been circulating is that the, uh, the land claims have been dealt with and uh, this has no validity or truth whatsoever. The land claims portion, which is phase two, hasn't even been heard in the courts yet. So that trial date will be shared with the community as, as, as soon as we know. But um, we will be discussing the uh, outcome of phase one with the community on Saturday, November the 23rd. So that's one update. Another is that uh, a week from the 23rd on November the 30th, we will be meeting with the community to discuss all the pertinent issues that are on the table to date. Uh, so this will involve chief and council who will be meeting with the community at the community center to discuss all relevant issues of the, of the day. So save these dates. Saturday, August, um, November 23rd and Saturday, November 30th. Now the people are inquisitive about an update on the arena structure. The, uh, it will be shared with council on Monday, the Monday council, I believe of the, I'll get this correct. Uh, it will be Monday, November the 25th, when we'll be getting uh, an update shared with Council and then we in turn will share it with the community. The outstanding issues are primarily the cover, color of the uh, covering of the uh, arena. Uh, what the arena will look like, what it will include. Uh, they're working, uh, we have uh, engineers and others working on what the interior will consist of, meaning referee rooms, uh, dressing rooms, concession stands, etc. And uh, engineers are working on the layout and parking lot, etc. So it is still in the works. Uh, it was slowed down, but uh, we're pushing forward. The construction will not begin this year. There were several tests that had to happen on the property, and probably once the construction season happens in 20, the spring of 2025 is when construction will be will be begin. I would also 
like to take this time to to th thank all those who participated in the remem Remembered State Service of uh, first of all, November 8th, which was the Indigenous uh, Veterans Day and also Remembrance Day uh, for Canada on November the 11th. The celebration was a ceremony of remembrance, was well attended by the community and uh, I thank the community for showing out showing up because we did have so many people enlisted in the forces unless we forget. In fact, earlier today I attended a Remembrance Day uh, celebration at the Kikandasakabig School where uh, myself and Councillor Beverly Nagelman were part of the presentation, uh, sharing the history of her service with the students. Now, it's, uh, there are a lot of fires, uh, irons in the fire. We're pushing forward with negotiations with NWMO uh, regarding the uh, the storage of uh, nuclear waste, uh, actually uh, the fuel, high-level waste, which is uh, the fuel bundles used in the reactors. The uh, host community would be uh, teased water, uh, a decision is in the court uh, of the NWMO because both host communities voted in the affirmative to be willing hosts for the uh, waste. The difference being that the situation in Sun territory is that the uh, Sun membership will have the final say as whether it's a A or an A. Ongoing community engage engagement will happen through 2024 and 2025 till we were positive that the community has been well in informed on in all uh, assets of and impacts of this uh, initiative. So we'll all be participating. We all only have one vote. I hope we uh, turn out to be educated on the issues around nuclear waste. It's the only way we can make an informed decision. We do have a nuclear advisory working group that meets regularly and meets with uh, the proponent of uh, nuclear waste management organization and uh, they're negotiating uh, terms to a resolution which has to be sanctioned by the membership. So these are just some of the uh, issues on the, on the burner right now. Uh, we will keep the community update to the best of our ability. I just met I just ask community members, when you make statements, when you share on social media, please have the facts because it just serves no purpose when people put information out without fact checking or, or at least contacting chief and council and the different working groups. So I, I only ask that as a, as a show of uh, working together because that's the way we get things accomplished by uh, sharing information, fact-checking, and asking that Chief of Gales will be responsible 
to communicate with the with the membership. So until uh, the next time, I'll say Mama P. Hope everyone uh, has a safe and healthy weekend, and uh, we all know that it was uh, such a successful uh, deer hunt this year, the best in in years. I congratulate all the fortunate hunters, both male and female, in the harvest. So, again, till next time, Mama P. Good woman.